Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you an interesting example of multi-tenancy in Filament used in our open source project Filastart. So my colleague Modestas came up with this tenancy usage which I really like and I wanted to show it to you. So multi-tenancy is often thought about as multi-tenancy by user or by team but you can get a bit creative. So in Filastart you create admin panels, projects panels, we call it panels, and we introduced a multi-tenancy by panels. Let me demonstrate. So in the panel provider, in this case it's a builder panel provider, so we customized the name from slash admin to slash builder, and here we specify two things. Tenancy by panel model, so each user may create multiple panels and then that panel registration page is create panel page. Let me demonstrate how it works. So this is the Philistart repository. It's open source so you can check out the full code. I will link that in the description below but let me show you how tenancy works. So by default we have one user admin admin com but that user doesn't have panels yet so we sign in and we immediately land on tenant registration page which is create new panel. So we create panel one for example my project and then we go inside to create cruds for that specific panel and as you can see the URL contains that panel ID builder slash one slash cruds. If we click on another menu item it's still builder one slash page name. So all the operations here are actually limited by that tenant. And tenant is not a user, it's not a team, it's admin panel. In the database we have one user and then in the panels table we have that user ID panel one and this is actually our tenant. In that registration page, create panel page, it should extend register tenant and in the form we have only one text input and then when handling the registration we assign user ID of that panel and more data if you wish to and we need to return that tenant object. So that's the registration part. If we want to create more panels, for example, create new panel, then we have the same form of new we create panel 2 and then the URL contains the ID of that other tenant. Now where that tenancy is used actually in the code. If we search the repository for the word tenant there are 10 files result. First let's take a look at the user model and this is about access. So who can access your panel? In this case we check that for the user panels which is has many relationship exists with that tenant ID. So another user wouldn't be able to see your panel even if they know the ID of that panel. Next result is a login form. So login response of filament. So we override that response and check if that user already has panels we immediately redirect to the CRUD resource of that panel with tenant as a parameter. And then we use that login response class in the app service provider of Laravel. We use the singleton specifying that login response class of filament should be resolved with our login response class. Next in many places in the project we need to use the tenant. For example to create parent ID of the CRUD we need to take the CRUDs of that particular panel. So for that we have filament get tenant and we can use it however we want. So for example in the create CRUD there's also filament get tenant and in other places filament get tenant whenever you use that panel ID. And finally in the automated tests in CRUD test for example with live wire testing here can create a CRUD we set the tenant for that specific test so that other operations in that test would be tenant aware. So yeah this is one example of multi-tenancy in filament quite specific quite individual but with that I wanted to kind of broaden your mind that multi-tenancy is not only about user necessarily but at the same time it's quite easy to introduce in filament with just a few files edited here and there. What do you think? You can check out the full code. I will link that in the description below and we can discuss in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.